some more thoughts on uh, boundaries. Uh, a lot of project management literature and many um, uh, critical studies have pointed out to problems connected with ineffective, non-existent or too flexible boundaries. We have already talked about a few kinds of boundaries. There are plenty of stories of how projects do not wind up. Every year uh, we evaluate, uh, we, we get um, access to several hundred projects to see how they are performing and we notice that many of them have been around for many years, many of them are in a limbo. I am talking about real Indian uh, e-governance uh, situation. So, both anecdotally as well as statistically we know a lot of projects do not wind up, instead they just get delayed and the more they get delayed the more they drift. Uh, and the more they drift, more they become more or less permanent activity. So, if you recall one of the first things we did in this session was to define projects as temporary activities and yet we find that many projects cease to be temporary activities and they become permanent ones. Another problem um, often commented upon is that uh, is the risk of losing project specificity. Projects can be unduly influenced and gradually meld into day-to-day -day operation, everyday operations of an organization. And what have been, and when this happens, the entire focus of the project is lost. So, overly porous institutional boundaries mean that um, the project bears uh, or tends to acquire characteristics of uh, prior habits and routines and a lot of innovative capability of the project is lost. On the other hand, it is quite possible uh, for projects to become completely isolated uh, from their context, completely isolated and removed from the organization. We will have more to uh, discuss on this particular point when we uh, in our session on change management. Remember to uh, check out the change management session. So, it is quite possible that projects can become completely separated from the organization context. So, both are bad, rigid boundaries are bad, extremely porous boundaries are bad. Uh, what happens when you have uh, hermetically sealed boundaries uh, for projects is that the learning from the project do not flow back into the organization for it to do uh, uh, its future projects more effectively. So, all the learning from the project kind of remain in the sealed chamber and they are lost when this project closes. So, both are inappropriate, both are suboptimal, too porous uh, organizational boundaries uh, as well as too rigid uh, project boundary. 